So as of recording, today is July 1st. Uh, Pride Month has come to an end. Um, and just at the very tail end of Pride Month, IKEA unveiled LGBTQ-themed sofas. And I, I, you're probably thinking, TG, what the F? You know? I have them up on the screen right here. So as we can see, we have... Uh, and these are kind of fucking crazy. Like, these are, like, whatever... If you're listening right now and you're not seeing this, imagine the craziest fucking couches in the world. That's what we're looking at here. So we had the asexual couch, the transgender couch... The critical the- race theory couch. <laughs> <laughs> The lesbian couch. No, some of these, like, okay, some of like the transgender couch just has like some different like color splotches and That's stuff. That's a nice on it. couch. Looks uh, looks like relatively like a normal fucking couch. The asexual couch has the the uh purple, gray, whatever. Like it looks like it it kind of looks like a giant pussy. It kind of looks it's like a, a it looks vaginal. like it looks like a sideways pussy if the pussy was like kind of shaped as the unite the continental United States. <laughs> Exactly. If, uh, if yes. you're listening yeah. at home, you're probably picturing that in your head perfectly. And then the other one here, what's to say here? The the ally couch or like the no, I think it's the progress couch, which I don't know how that fits in LGBTQ, but just the idea of progress. It this couch is crazy as hell. It's just a normal couch with a bunch of fake flowers growing out of it from the top, the bottom, the sides. Looks kind of uncomfortable to sit on. Well, it's like you're either going to ruin like how the couch was decorated or yeah, it's not comfortable. I actually got kind of like uh, I was looking at I got a new place recently and I was looking at couches and like it, uh, there are some really weird couches out there that I don't think are necessarily like for mass production sale. But like this is one of the weirder ones, but there was one that was like designed to look like a big Jansport backpack and it has like what? all these different zippers and like. There's there's like a couch that's like a big pig. Uh, there's a couch that's like a bunch of like little balls that you like lay on and can like. I mean, it looks like fun to have, but it's like I would like go to a place that has this couch, but I wouldn't want it in my. There's a couch that's like a coffin. That's kind of cool, but that, like, like if you have like a goth themed cafe shop, that would be great. Yeah, or there's a there's a couch that's like eighteen thousand dollars and it just looks like it. It's called like the the snake pit, or but it's just like a bunch. Of, it looks like uh. Like if you put like velvet around a bunch of like pool noodles and then just like made a big like nest of that. And it's like this stuff looks kind of fun. $18,000 fun? No, no. But like it's like interesting. But like this. And then imagine just like having to clean that. Someone's going to fucking spill you can't, something. You can't clean it. It's like how. Right. In yeah. the like Chuck E. Cheese AMAs, how they always said there's always like poop at the bottom of the ball pit. <laughs> it's like, oh. do not drink red wine on my progress couch, please. So if you scroll down here, Grant, you the more the most infamous one we haven't even touched on yet is the the bisexual couch. Now, if you can see this at home, this is yeah, it's, fucking it's, crazy. It's called the bisexual couch because uh, as soon as uh, you you get it, you can say bye bye to uh, any sex on that uh, freaking couch because the chair or the fucking couch is creepy. It's like covered in hands. Yeah, like, what does that have to do with I don't being know. by se- like you just want I think everyone's that, I think it's, hands to touch your ass? I think it's, that- it's kind, of, <laughs> kind of aggressive if you think about I it. I think it's uh, it's uh, the it's saying that the the main villain in My Hero Academia is bisexual, and it's kind of uh, I was thinking him or the uh, the uh, the one guy with the hands in Jujutsu. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I made a uh, tweet what's, about that. What the hell's up with hands in modern show, folks? What is up with hands in villains in modern shonen series? Easy to draw. You just gotta. Hands, hands are the hardest the thing to draw. Like why? Well, they're shoes. Oh, wow. they're shapes. So this, I thought hair was the hardest thing to draw, which is why Super Saiyan Goku had blonde hair, so he didn't have to color it in anymore. Yeah, maybe he just used the fill tool. Um, so we see Painful. here the pillows say uh, when you the pillows say when you change nobody or to and <laughs> believes you got to no you got you got to read one pillow at a time, Grant. It says no no. I mean, oh, trust me, I did the same thing you, you did. You read for- right to left. It says, when you change nobody or to and well, believes couch, you. Well, if this couch was a manga, you would read right to left. <laughs> so it'd be nobody nobody you believes change you when and to or. But really, though, even if you read it like normally, it does take a second to kind of click in. It says, when you change or to and, nobody believes you. Can you see? I think on the IKEA website, I don't know if it's still up, but they had like the people who designed all the couches. 
It, and it has like a little profile about they them. They do. They do on this page. If you scroll down, Grant, you'll see the the, the this. Oh, is this? Yeah. Spoken this, word poet uh, Brian Lanigan pictured on IKEA's bisexual couch, which was inspired by his work. Again, like this is a great art piece. Like if I saw this in like some sort of installation, I would be like, that's kind of interesting. Can I yeah, sit on? Sure. And they're like, hey, can I sit on that? Sure. Oh, cool. I'm going to go sit in the bisexual couch. See how, you know, see how that feels and then stand up again. But it's not something I don't think anybody wants the grabby hands couch in their living room. I mean, this is too far for Ikea. Ikea is like build a futon that is gray. Build and, it, and it's going to fall apart in five months yeah. because it's made out of particle board. Yeah. And that's, if that's what's, is, are we looking at it just a, a series of pieces of particle board covered by hands and for the record, this is like a bright pink, bright purple couch. And all the hands are like hot pink, bright pink all over the place. And they're not just pictures or like they're not like prints of hands on the cushion. They are actual plastic hands that are covering the circumference, the surface of the entire couch. It's crazy. It's madness. I mean, again, how the fuck do you like? If you spill something on the, it's it's either ruined or it blends in perfectly. Maybe yeah, that's what they're hoping. Spill whatever the fuck you want on the bisexual couch. I don't give a shit about that. Do not drink anything on my asexual couch. Guy who just collects all of these. And yeah, then, what do you even do with it? Like, you can't... Most of these, I feel like you can't really sit in, so it's like a piece, but it's like... Uh, I mean, like, I... I at a museum or like an art museum when they have like a chair from like a very nice chair it's like i want to sit in it but i can't because it's art but it's like if you're you're buying that for your house as like a decoration it's right like, like get, get a picture of you sitting on it for instagram get up and move on with your life you do not need this in your rumpus room no rump no rump my rump wouldn't feel very comfortable sitting on a bunch of hands well, hey, the you could here's a here's a post for you and guys listening at home. Uh, you feel free to tweet this one. Out. This is a free one for you. The original bisexual couch, and it's the palm the the hand chair. Oh, like the plastic. Thing? Yeah, 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 that's like yeah, yeah. That They have a plan. I fitness. think my joke like that was like the lips couch. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The lips couch is fun. Though. Where did you find that? I just googled lips couch. I was like, I th I thought that was like from the IKEA collection. I, I saw you post no, it. Like, no, no, no. Hey, wasn't that, that was... the freaking uh, doctor from Rugrats, Doctor Lips Couch? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! That should not have hit as well as it did <laughs> for it anyone. Did. Uh, but yeah, I mean, a bunch of people, as we're sort of talking about, were making their own their own tweets, as you can imagine, their own couch, and they're funny forever. Not well, just the first of, hour. It kind of falls into a bat. I mean, not that this was, I don't know how well or poorly thought out it was, but it's like, and, and it, you know, I, it, I don't want to get too far into identity politics, but it's like the more specific couches you have to represent the ide identities, the more angry you're going to make the identities that you like leave out from having couches or whatever. Yeah. Right. And, uh, you know, not that these were already like getting like bad press as it is, but it's like in defining all of these things, it's like, you are kind of like drawing circles around communities that are also sort of like leaving people out or whatever. I don't know. As, as a straight white man, I feel like, uh, yeah, the, the chat also called us out earlier for, uh, once again, uh, three straight cis white dudes mansplaining an LGBT well, then, couch, but, uh, this a, is the can, show, man. This is what we have to do. I mean, it, I could put again, the Jack Sparrow, uh, <laughs> Put, no, yeah, be, that would actually be a huge. I would help. be would bisexual help, uh, icon Jack Sparrow. Yeah, yeah. I guess he. I think there are articles written about him being a bisexual, because like he's like, well, when he was talking to this one pirate, he was being sort of flirtatious. Hey, if you get enough rum in you, <laughs> you know, who knows what the hell is going to happen. I think he said that. Also, there's an image of Jack Sparrow uh, rendered as like a Hindu god and was saying that he that the character design was like drawn inspiration from him. What <laughs> and he's the? like this big blue guy. It's really great. <laughs> so what's the uh, what's the punishment uh, here? Fucking what's man. for the bisexual couch? Yeah. Right, just the couches in general. I don't... Um. <laughs> I got nothing. I just got a. I got one of those desk risers. 
You know, you get one of those. Hey, yeah. stand, quit sitting so much. That's bad for you. Stand. It is. How about some uh, representative standing desks? Or how about uh, all the corporations who back Pride? The they have to buy up all the remaining Pride couches that didn't sell. Yeah, how about how about they have to actually use these couches? Yeah, I think that's the worst punishment. It's like, yeah, sit on the couch that has plastic hands all over At it. The Wells Fargo yeah. waiting room. Yeah. You you like gay people so much. Sit on Why the- don't you marry them? <laughs> <laughs>